Hi, welcome back to Biash and Klutz Knitting and Crochet. My name is Maria. And again, the reason I call this Biash and Klutz is because I will make mistakes and I will not edit them out. I will show you when I'm making mistakes and learn with you and gripe and complain through it if, if, in certain parts. But I want to show you that um, even with the mistakes, fixing them, you're still going to end up with a beautiful shawl. Um, we can begin to see, and I just finished row eight, and we can begin to see the bottom of the diamonds. Um, you can see them. Right, going right all, it's, it's kind of like a V-shape right now through there. And so I wanted to finish up the body of the lace work. And then from there, go to, um, I will just grow mine. I will continue growing mine and come back for the border, just so you can see how the finished, how it looks. Um, <clears throat> as you can begin to see the diamonds taking shape in there, the bottom here. But it really does take a few repeats before you see the diamonds all the way through it. So, and they are um, asymmetrical. They're not all lined up, of course. So like one might be here, one might be here, and then the top will be here. And then in the next repeat, it's gonna go over a little more. So, um, okay. So what I wanted to say um, without letting this get too long is, this is video three. I went to video three because there's a couple of change up rows um, from nine to 20. Uh, 11 and 13 are a little different. And then there's repeats of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, or one, two, one, three, five, and seven. So, um, having said that, um, it's on to row nine. I just repeated row eight. Just our alternating row that stays the same. Um, row nine is the same as row one. So we go back to row one and we knit one. And we yarn over and we knit two together. Oof, sorry, somebody's making me a smell downstairs again. Okay, um, we knit two together and we knit two. Um, and then we purl one. So we bring our yarn back in the front. And then our repeat begins where the asterisk is. And we knit four. And remember we stop our repeat um, before we get to the last six stitches, no matter where it starts. So we knit our four, three. So it was knit one, yarn over, knit two, knit two, purl one, one, two, three, four. Okay, and then um, I was reading the wrong row, was I? No. It's knit four. I'm sorry. Knit four is the beginning of the repeat. So knit four, yarn over, and it's S S K. So we slip slip and we knit those two together. And that's the end of the repeat. So the repeat begins with knit four. Yarn over and slip slip knit SSK, slip slip, and then knit those two. And again, repeat knit four.
turn over. Hmm, that one's a little weird. What happened here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. I have a little extra on there. Flip, flip. I'm actually going to slip another one because I have an extra stitch there. I'm going to figure out later. Knit two together. Or knit. SSK. Knit those together. Okay. And then it's one, two, Four. Yarn over. Slip. Slip. Knit. It's knit four. And it's SSK slip slip knit. I see what's happening. We're actually ending up in this row slipping yarn overs. So that's what's happening. And then we knit this. That's what's going to make that long side of the diamond, that yarn over being slipped. Okay, that looked funky, but it worked. Okay. And knit four. Yarn over. And slip, slip. Okay. I want to end at six, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So it would be knit four, but I'm just going to knit one. I'm sorry, we're supposed to be ending it. What was I doing? We're supposed to be ending at nine stitches, so that's six. So I need to take three and take them back. That's actually two stitches there. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let me count it again. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so stop at nine stitches no matter where you are in your pattern. And then we're going to knit three of those last nine stitches. One, two, three, purl one. Knit two, SSK, slip slip, knit those together, and it's yarn over and knit one.
So this will make sense when you're looking at the, the pattern, of course. But just to show you the stitches and how it looks, I'm not confusing it on. Um, you can really begin to see the, the diamonds in there. I can get it in the light. So I'm just going to go on to row 10, which is the same as row 2, uh, which is always knit one. Uh, and I mean, purl 5, knit one, purl to the last 6, knit one, purl 5. So I'm going to go do that, and I'll come back for row 11. Okay, so welcome back. We are to row 11. There's only 20 rows in the body. So we are to row 11, and it's different than, um, it's an action row, and it's different than the ones that say just repeat row 1, 7, 5, 11, like that. So 11 is knit 3. Yarn over, S S K. So slip as if to knit one at a time. Then knit those together. Okay, and then purl one. And then knit one. And then our repeat begins, and we're going to stop at eight stitches. So wherever you are in your repeat, from asterisk to asterisk, wherever you are, stop at eight stitches. So you can see the pattern developing. So um, the repeat begins in row 11 at yarn over, slip, slip, SSK as if to knit knit those together knit four and then repeat so we go back to the asterisk and repeat to the last eight stitches. So it's yarn over, SSK, and then knit four. Yarn over, SSK, knit four, Yarn over, SSK, knit four. Yarn over, SSK is if to knit, slip each stitch separately, 
and knit them together. Make sure I got them both. And knit four. Yarn over, SSK, knit those, so it slips it, knit, knit four, and stop at eight stitches, one, two, let me count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. So we're gonna knit our other two. We're knitting our four. That should be eight stitches. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, so when we get to our last um, eight stitches, we're gonna yarn over and FSK. And purl one, knit two together, yarn over and knit the last three. Okay. And then round to row 12, which is our repeat row of row two. Is that looking so far? And if I hold it further back, you can Finally, see the diamonds beginning. Depending on the yarn you use and your gauge and all, your diamonds will be smaller or bigger. And just the way you knit, you can see it. You can see them start to develop on this side more. You hold it in the light. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do row 12 and I'll be back for row 13. Okay, so I finished row 12 and it's on to row 13. So um, that is, I'm going to, that's what we're gonna do. I'm going to knit one. and yarn over and knit two together and then knit two and purl one and knit two And now we begin our repeat, but we're going to stop at seven stitches no matter where we are in between those asterisks of the repeat. Seven stitches we're going to stop. So the repeat begins with yarn over, SSK, so slip slip, and then knit together.
and then knit one. Knit two together. Yarn over and knit one. So there's our repeat. Get an idea of how it's looking. Try to get in the light. This way. So again, we're going to yarn over, lip, knit. And knit those two together. Knit one. Knit two together. Yarn over. Knit one. Yarn over. Lip, lip, knit two together, I mean knit those two, slip, slip, knit, knit one, and then we knit two together, which is totally different than a slip, slip, knit, yarn over, Knit one. So, you can begin to see the diamonds. And even if I don't stretch it too much, you can see the diamonds. So, it's yarn over. Slip as if to knit, slip as if to knit, and knit. Knit one. Knit two together. Yarn over. Knit one. Yarn over, slip as if to knit, slip as if to knit, and knit. Knit one. We're looking for the glasses, they way over there. Knit one. I almost knit two together. Knit one. Knit two together now. Yarn over. Knit one. Okay. Yarn over. Slip. Slip. Knit. Do that again. Flip, flip, <laughs> I'll try that again. I'm gonna put my glasses on again. I'm gonna stretch and get them there over here somewhere. Yeah, life I did. Let's put the glasses. That's better. Flip. Flip. Knit. Okay. Knit one. Knit two together. Yarn over, knit one. 
trying to count the stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to slip, slip, knit. So it's yarn over, slip. Now I should have seven stitches. Three, six, seven. Okay. So we stop at seven stitches and we knit one and we purl one. And we knit two. And we slip, we SSK, we slip, slip, because I have to knit. And we knit those. And then we yarn over and we knit one. Okay, so that is row 13. 14 is just a repeat of row 2 which is purl five, knit one, then purl across the row to the last six, six stitches, knit one, purl those five. Now row 15 is going to be a repeat of row seven. Row 17 is going to be a repeat of row five. Row 19 is going to be a repeat of row 11. And we're going to end on Row 20 is a repeat of row 2. So I'm going to go finish that up and grow mine and come back in video 4 and do the uh, lower edge. So you can just carry on with this. Uh, um, go ahead and post the pattern and just give you a little heads up of how it's looking there. So you can see probably do this so you can see it better. Oh, let's do this. <laughs> it won't move for me if you find your gut small. Let me see. Come out to me. Come on. Uh, I'm right there. Okay. So let me show it to you the right way. You can see the diamonds beginning, and um, this is actually the wrong side, and this is the right side. It doesn't matter really, but on the um, right side, you'll see there's a ridge there, right here. And it, it gives definition to the edging. Or that's the right side, I'm sorry. But on this side, it goes in. So the lighting's really not doing it justice here. But you can see the edge here. And then the pattern or the body begins. So, I mean, I think you can see now. Like that I've, got, I've got it stretched out pretty much. I want to put it together so you can see it. can imagine when you bind off, you're going to see all those little diamonds going through it. Okay. Um, now when I finish those last few rows, I'm going to keep growing it and I'll come back into the edge. And of course, this is going to be blocked. So this part will be longer. Okay. 
and you'll block it, you'll wash it, you'll finger block it. As you're washing it, you'll kind of like pat it out and then uh, stretch it out and you'll be able to see all your little diamonds in there and get all your lace work in there. You know, and you'll pin it, you'll wash it in some light, very light silk, just don't, you know, do this, just dunk, 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 like this, and then stretch it out, rinse it really good, stretch it out, and pin in the corners, and you'll shape it out so that you can see the, um, it'll dry, showing the pattern. Okay, so I'm going to go grow it a little bit longer, finish out the the end of the body and grow it a little bit more and then my um, next video will just be the edging of it and we'll finish it off together. And it's a little, it's called Diamond Sparkle. Again, it's on allfreeknitting.com and I'll leave the link down when I post all the videos. Thanks for watching everyone and thanks for going through the little bit of um, ups and downs of me dropping stitches, picking up, having to get my glasses, um, realizing that in that very first row where I did drop some stitches, I had to go back and get them. Cause I, uh, I either, well, I didn't, I dropped a couple, but then I also knit some splits together. So I was missing some stitches in that first row where you stop at nine. Um, so I, judge that back together and I mean you really can fix if you realize if you start to see a ladder happening and it's just a ladder like it's just going back and forth um stop what you're doing and yeah, I always keep um where is it so I can show you no I don't have it here my eyeglass case. I usually keep some bobby pins in there or some stitches, uh, stitch holders and markers. You can just kind of, when you see a stitch that's popping out that you've dropped, just click onto it, snap it off, and then when you get into the next row, pick it up and weave it through and you'll be fine. Okay, so this would be a really cute, um, a really cute uh, shawl for a little baby, a little girl, um, a grown woman. I'm, I'm going to make mine probably in, this is just a sample because it's my scrap yarn, but it's holding up pretty good for scrap yarn. It really is. Um, I'm probably going to do this in a gray because I want to, I want to have it be something I could wear around the house and still wear over like a blouse and have it be a little bit it's got a little subtle, like muted, elegant look to it. Of course, if you use the sparkle, it'll be really um, dazzly for the holiday, maybe. Um, it's being shown in Satin Sparkle Bernay, Bernay Satin Sparkle in a cream color. Um, but again, a comparable yarn would be Red Heart Love Soft Dazzle. Which is really popular right now in holiday colors too. So um, you can get that. And you'll need about, I'd say, three skeins of Love's Red Heart to do a full size uh, women's knitted one. Um, and then you could just, like I said, you could just do a multiple of 10 plus 5 for whatever size you want to go with. Um, it's going to be very small. Um, maybe for my cat. I don't know. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, but if you wanted to make it for a young girl, a little girl, a little shawl, um, you could do it. Um, and then, you know, just go, if you wanted to make it larger, uh, the cast on for this pattern is 105 stitches and it's pretty big. It really wraps around. When you see the picture, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, but you could adjust the size 
again, your gauge is 18 stitches, 24 rows, stockinette, alternating, knit, purl, knit, knit a row, purl row, pur knit a row, purl row, blocked, blocked out. Um, you want a four by four inch or 10 centimeter. So this has been a really fun pattern to do with all the ups and downs. It's been fun. And so I'm going to go do row two right now and then move on to um, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 and, uh, and keep growing it and come back and do the edge with you. Okay. Thanks. Have a good night. Bye-bye.